friends, welcome to your favorite channel, See to Learn. Today, we'll learn Newton's third law of motion with this dry boat. It's not moving in water, it's stationary. I'll put an inflated balloon on the top of the boat. See, it has started moving in water. It means some force has caused this movement. Can you see the air bubbles coming out from the rear part of the boat? It is the air from the balloon escaping out through a small hole at the bottom of the boat. This escaping air exerts a backward force on the water. But for the boat to move, some forward force must act on it, right? So who exerts this force? It's the water. Water exerts a force on the boat in forward direction, which is equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction to the backward force. As a result, the boat moves forward. This is what Newton's third law of motion says. When two bodies, say body A and body B, interact, body A exerts a force on body B. In turn, body B also exerts an equal but opposite force on body A. These two forces are called action and reaction forces. Action is the force exerted by body A, while reaction is the force experienced by it. Now, these two forces are equal and opposite. So they should cancel each other, right? But they don't. Why? Because they are acting on two different objects and not on the same one. Our routine activities like walking, swimming, dancing, and even driving a vehicle are results of these action-reaction forces. Let's do one more activity to make the point more clear. I have taken a few sketch pens and a toy car. See what happens when the toy car moves forward on the sheet. The sheet has moved in the backward direction. So the backward force must have been exerted by the car, right? It is the action force exerted by the spinning wheels of the car. The wheels push the ground backwards. The reaction is the forward push by the ground on the car. This accelerates the car forward. The third law of motion is applicable almost everywhere in nature. Like in the flight of birds, in movement of animals, be it on land or in water. The propulsion of rockets is also based on this law. The burning fuels inside the rocket expel out hot gases at a very high velocity. This is an action and as a reaction of which the gases push the rocket upwards. Friends, you may also cite more applications of this law in the comment section below.